Hi, I'm Insim Strider, and brace yourselves for a tale of war. So, earlier today I was testing out the tools to capture gameplay, and everything seemed to be going really well. Um, the quality that I was getting on the screen at the time, it looked really nice. Um, I had a program open that was capturing my commentary. I had a secondary prom, uh, secondary thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, you'll understand why I'm a bit absent-minded in a moment. Um, I had a secondary program running that was also capturing my commentary, and everything seemed to be going so well. So I was testing out the tools by playing a little bit of Dragon's Dogma and I was fighting against the Drake, if anyone's familiar with um, Dragon's Dogma, you know it if, um, if you're at a low level, which my uh, my character is, um, I've started the game again um, in anticipation for the Dark Arisen um, DLC, I don't know when it's coming, if it's coming at all, uh, but I'm kind of looking forward to it. and. Yeah, so I was kind of a low level and I thought I could tackle the Drake. I think I was like a level 13, 14, 15 maybe, something like that. I thought I could tackle the Drake and I was wrong. We were getting our asses severely kicked. And somehow, amidst all this, I somehow fluked a win. We'd had the Drake knocked on its side. Um, me and my pawn were just wailing. Absolutely, that's pawn. For you dirty minded people out there. Um, we were wailing on its chest and finally got that hit and it it, it it just that final bit of health just chipped away. And as soon as that final bit of health chipped away and the triumphant music um came on, I just jumped up and I was like, Oh, winner and the problem was that as soon as I was shouting um shouting and cheering, I knocked my laptop off its perch. Never has so much wind turned into so much fail, because as it went over, it kind of happened in slow motion. So I was all no, thinking I can get to it in time. You know, um, if you knock like um, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, hot chocolate, whatever. You know, if you knock it and it's going to go over and it seems to go in slow motion, and you think you can get it. You think you can get it. Well, I couldn't get it. <laughs> I was real heartbroken because as it hit the ground I heard the screen crack so my screen is completely busted I'm actually using my girlfriend's laptop to record this so thanks to you thank you so much for letting me do this I don't know if I'll be able to use this laptop for recording videos just like this of course this laptop doesn't have my tools for cap capturing gameplay unfortunately I would put them on here but the disc um, the hard drive space is pretty limited and I won't be able to record very much um, but thanks to her just for letting me use this just for explaining what's going on to you guys um, the casing also cracked and at that point I thought it was unsalvageable um, but I took it to a friend and I said like can this be fixed um, it's kind of his business that's what he does he PC and Xbox PlayStation you name it he repairs them um, yeah, I was like, can this be fixed? He says, the screen is the biggest issue. Um, I think I have a case. Um, I'll just ditch this case because it's useless. And I will use um, a spare case I've got. So um, my laptop may change colour, but who cares? Um, it's the programs on it that I need. Um, they were hard to come by as it was, um, let alone find again. Um, as I say, I did, I did have a bit of help finding these programs. Everything that I was recording seemed to be coming out brilliantly and then I go and goof like this um, so where does that leave the deadly premonition let's play um, well he said it could take two weeks uh, sorry I just checked the calendar a second there he said it could take two weeks to repair so at the beginning of February early February first week maybe going into the second week of February we'll just have to see where things go from there um, until I get it back if I get it back um, he did say it was salvageable so it's looking likely um, We'll have to see um, where things go from there. I was super psyched to start recording tonight. I was uh, hopped up on energy drink and coke and everything just so I can not coke the Coca Cola cherry. I'll prove it. Look, cherry coke. Um, sorry, that's advertising. I that's a, that's one of my vows. No advertising on my uh, on my channel ever. Um, yeah, it was just like 
oh, I can't I can't believe I did it seriously. Um, but it did say two weeks. It could be um, it could be ready. Um, I was ready to record. I was gonna be up for as long as I could um, until I really need to go to sleep. I was gonna gonna record as many parts as I can. Um, I do have a few of the let's plays planned. Um, not many um, for this year because I am new to let's plays. Um, I'd have to settle in and learn everything. I think Deadly Premonition would be a good game to do that with as well. Um, so I still want to have that as my first. Plus, you guys voted for it. That's what you wanted to see. That's so that's what I'm gonna get. Um, that's what I'm gonna give you. Um, so yeah, you guys wanted to see it, and I'm, I really want to record it. It's a game that I really want to share with you because. It's amazingly weird and weirdly amazing. It's hard to classify. It really is. So I really do want to record it. There's um, a couple more games after that. Um, there'll always be videos like this, just me talking to you guys. And who knows? From there, maybe a few other let's plays. I have had people volunteer their services for um, multiplayer, not like competitive, but co-op, cooperative um, multiplayer um, games. Uh, such as Borderlands, Borderlands 2, Resident Evil 6 um, just a few out there that I've had people volunteer and say yes we're willing to play this with you, even a bit of Mass Effect 3 multiplayer in there um, which I'm super excited to do actually I, um, I'd like to play with all of you guys, quite a lot of my subscribers I have added to, um, on my Xbox as friends um, because I really do enjoy talking with you and it's um, we've played some great games together already um, uh, some Halo 4, some Mass Effect, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of cool stuff and I would like to do that more with you guys uh, maybe even um, this was kind of like an idea I was batting around um, earlier maybe um, jumping into your games on Minecraft and reviewing your lands on Minecraft I'm not a big Minecraft fan, I've downloaded it, I've played around with it a little, maybe about an hour which in Minecraft time is not a lot <laughs> but yeah it was it's not something I'm really into that whole imagination just imagine something and build it um, I'm into the little details and yeah because I'm so into the little details I'll be messing around with like trying to get the right door for the house that I was building for several hours so it's not really that sort of game that I'm into I did enjoy looking around all my friends um, worlds but I was thinking of maybe recording um, you uh, giving me a tour around your world that you've created on Minecraft and showing me some of the cool things um, but I don't know if that's going to go ahead yet that's just an idea we're batting around um, there was also um, I was talking to my friend Rex earlier and he was saying like um, we could do some like um, a survival thing on Minecraft. <laughs> you can tell I'm not really in, um, into this game. It seems to be quite popular on YouTube. But I have no idea why. I guess it's more fun to watch and see other people's creations, which is where I get my enjoyment from. I don't really watch anything on YouTube. I'm, I'm completely unfamiliar with Minecraft, really. Um, yeah, so it's it's one of those things that. Yeah, they love it, and you like seeing other people's creations and maybe taking inspiration for your own. Or I like seeing other people's creations. I don't really watch any on YouTube. If you guys know of any great ones, I'll um, I'll happily watch them. But I was enjoying going into my friends' little worlds they've created and seeing some of the crazy things they've created, like um, waterfalls of lava and a strange undersea glass house which was kind of awesome actually I really did uh, really I did enjoy that I was actually watching him build it I built myself a little like a wooden um, a, a wooden thing pillar in the, it, it wasn't anything that resembled any shape or form in the ocean I was just looking down watching him working underwater building a little glass sort of underwater aquarium sort of thing so you could go down there and look out at all the squids I, I assume there's more aquatic life than the squids though. Is, is it just squids? I've only ever seen a squid. Um, oh yeah there was that um, that giant squid found um, recently in a sea somewhere. That was super exciting. I was like oh Jules Verne was right. Um, yeah it was super exciting. I've, um, if you've not seen any footage of it yet look it up. It's going to be on YouTube somewhere. Um, I'm not going to look it up for you. I will provide a link. In all honesty, I don't know how to do links. <laughs> a little, little confession, I'm not really all that good with technology. I really wish I was. Um, this would have been sorted a long time ago, but I've, 
I've had help to get where I am. I'm recording on a shoestring, um, shoestring budget, and I just want to prove that you don't need to have the fancy setup. You don't need to have all that stuff. You can do it on a smaller budget. Um, so it's a personal challenge for me. It's been a challenge for some of my friends who have been helping me. Um, they're just like just just cave, just buy something awesome. And I'm like, one, I don't have the money, and two, um, I just want to do it this way. I want to prove that it can be done on a low budget. That's one of the re main reasons why I'm getting my Let's Plays out there because I want to prove that this can be done on a lower budget and it still look good. Um, because there's all these big big people on YouTube out there that um, have got phenomenal you know subscribers and video views and all that and I'm lucky if I get 100 video views um, in fact if I get one I'm happy um, if what that one person has watched my video and enjoyed it then I'm happy even if they've not enjoyed it I'm just happy when I set out I always said if just any video I put out if it just gets one view I will keep making them for that one person um, I can't even believe I got to 31 subscribers, let alone, you know, let alone 31 views. You know, one view, two views. It was, it was all. Yeah, I, I, I'm really humbled, but despite what you can do and people are willing to listen to what I say. Uh, anyhow, I've rambled on. This was starting um, about my day of failure. Um, although there was a little bit of win in there. It's like it's, there's that glimmer of hope now that I can actually do this. Um, and if any of you guys are ever wanting to know the stuff I bought to um, to actually record gameplay when I get my first video up there and you see that it's actually not that bad it's not going to be amazing HD quality but um, it's going to be it's going to be good but from what I was seeing the the um, the footage was looking amazing it was always there was the little little niggles as I say I'm, I'm detail um, like the audio being slightly out or um, there was a slight bit of choppiness in the in the videos, which that was actually noticeable. Um, but you know, I, I want it to be great, and it looked like I've, it looks like I finally got there. Well, good, not great, but you know, something that I would watch myself. That's been my main goal to get it out there. Um, so yeah, I think I've covered absolutely everything. Everything I've gone on a little ramble here for some strange reason. Um, yeah, I think I've covered absolutely everything. Um, a little heartbroken about the laptop, but it will come back. It will be resurrected. It will rise from the ashes like a glorious phoenix. Um, covered absolutely everything. I did have um, one more video of, um, planned as well about the inconsistencies of Mass Effect, and that was taking some hell of a research. I mean, the very first point was um, the gun that you get in Mass Effect 2, the Avenger. It changed its name from Mass Effect 1 um, when it was called the Lancer. It went that deep into the research. Um, I guess they looked at Gears of War and thought their Lancer is a little more iconic than ours and it's got a chainsaw attached. So just say it's the Avenger now. It's not the, Lan it's not the Lancer at all. Where did the Lancer assault rifle go? There was all sorts of crazy assault rifles in Mass Effect 1. Anyhow, I'm getting off topic as I always do. I've been N7 Strider and I should go.